Tana Independent School District will now be known as the district. Officials say they're working towards breaking away from a discouraging reputation and will continue focusing on providing students with the best education. Our Joanna Guzman reports. <laughs> Donna Independent School District has had a bad reputation over time. Recently, a former school police officer pled guilty to drug conspiracy. Prior to that, a teacher was accused of soliciting sex from a minor. Today, the new superintendent aims to change the community's point of view. There are a couple of reasons why we wanted to change that, right? Is, is one of it that we wanted to rebrand because we also we are, we are, we are thinking that um, by rebranding, will help regain the trust. As you know, Don has been uh, through some uh, tough times the past few years, so we want to rebrand so we can try to regain that public trust, but also we want to make sure to show our community that we're also uh, putting our students first, and we want to make sure that our students have that well rounded education, right? Make sure they're prepared for whatever endeavors you want to have after high school. Asai says the district is working to improve student success by keeping them their top priority. Adding improvements to curriculum have already been made. This year we started a full full day pre-K, for example, we submitted an application for a standalone early college. Uh, so we doing we already started this fall, did a lot of things. Now in the spring, uh, we'll come with the community, um, a lot of stake all the stakeholders, and we're going to come together so we can work on, on developing the five-year strategic plan. It's pretty much going to determine where we want to be a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. The superintendent adds enrollment has been decreasing, but assures with the new five-year plan, the district will be the best in the valley. In Donna, I'm Joanna Guzman, Local 23 News. Joanna, thank you. Donna High School recently received a grant from the Texas Workforce Commission for their welding program. Officials say this is only the beginning of bigger projects.